In this video, I want to talk a little bit about telomeres and telomerase. And this is happening in eukaryotes. So, what's going on? If we imagine that we have a DNA strand, this was the original strand, this gray strand, and this newly synthesized strand has this RNA primer here in red and the elongated portion in blue being the DNA. So now, in eukaryotes, the two enzymes, um, LEN, which is a nuclease, and RNase H go through and remove the primer. So if they go through and they get rid of this, right, let's just imagine that for a second. If they go through and they get rid of this, notice what happens. This portion, this portion here, this DNA here is not copied correctly right we're missing DNA right because if we get rid of that RNA we're missing DNA would this be a problem the answer is yes because what if this portion right what if this portion here that we're missing what if that um, was coding DNA and we could have lost it that means that could have coded for a particular gene and that suddenly that gene cannot be transcribed or translated into the gene product and that's a problem so, how was this problem solved? Well, what happens is the the five prime to three prime end, right? This is the original strand, this gray portion here. What happens is the three prime end is extended. So this green portion is um, this is added here, and this portion is called uh, a telomere. And what the telomere is, is just a bunch of non-coding DNA, it's just a bunch of junk DNA. So why is that useful? Well, because now the primer will be added here, and their DNA will be elongated. Okay. So now, when these guys go in, go through and get rid of the primer, well, now we're missing this portion here. Right, but what are we missing? We're only missing this part here, which is part of the junk DNA. So we don't lose any of this precious coding DNA here, right? That's important. So telomeres prevent this problem from occurring, it prevents us from losing, it prevents the loss of coding DNA. So what adds this telomere here? A particular enzyme does that. That's called telomerase. Telomerase is a protein and actually contains some RNA in, in the protein itself. And um, that RNA is um, that, so the, the telomere, excuse me, the tel telomerase RNA is used as the template to make this DNA. So how is this DNA made here? Well, the telomerase uses RNA that it contains as a template to make this telomere here. So it's making DNA from RNA, right? So that process was actually an exception to the central dogma. This is reverse transcription. Transcription is the process in which we take DNA and go to RNA, but now we're making DNA from RNA, so we're going backwards. This is reverse transcription. So this is an exception to the rule of, this, of the central dogma. So telomeres basically help us prevent the loss of, uh, of important coding DNA. So telomeres are very, very important. The length of these tel telomeres is related to aging. I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, but I hope that video overall was helpful in understanding a little bit more about telomeres and telomerase. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moveuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.